Sony V2, my 600 pound life. Go back down. Most insane transformations. All right, let's go. Probably gonna have to do some covering up for sure. We're gonna see it all. Let's go. These are the five craziest transformations from my 600 pound life. So let's begin by talking about the now infamous Casey King, who looks let's like go. a completely different person since appearing on the show. When Casey was first introduced in early Sheesh. 2019, he weighed in at over 700 pounds or 315 That's kilos crazy. while living an extremely sedentary lifestyle. A normal day for me, wake up around 12, figure out something I'm gonna eat immediately, TV, video games, bed. It was obvious that Casey was extremely disappointed with That's how his crazy, life had turned bro. out. I never would have thought at 34, I'd be living with my father, have no job, have no real money, and just be playing video games all day and eating. Which became even worse after he was told by a doctor that he had an express ticket toward the graveyard. You're gonna die unless something happens here. I think that you're on the road to immobility. And when that happens, I think it's gonna be a very short course. Casey was then advised that he could get Fuck weight loss surgery as long as he lost a couple of pounds beforehand. And while this initially resulted uh. in a boatload of family drama, it wasn't long before Casey was making an effort to lose the required 60 pounds. He instead managed to lose 80 pounds, being approved for weight loss surgery nice. in the low 600s, which dropped even further in the two weeks after completing the surgery. 588? Yeah. I'm down to 588? Nice. Yeah. I'm super you proud of that. I'm super proud, actually. It's pretty good. You should be. By the time the show had come to an end three months later, Yee. Casey was down to 525 pounds. And while this number was enough to impress his family, he was still determined to get lower. My goal for next year is to be under four. Ultimate dream, 250. Leading Casey to create his own YouTube channel on which he began to document his progress. Nice. I just want to make these videos to let people know real quick how I'm doing because there's so many people that want constant updates or whatever. Almost down 250 pounds. I go to the gym three times a week to swim. With every video, Casey's face was looking slimmer. That's three times a week. Imagine him going an extra two days the whole week. Boy. Slimmer. And by October 2019, on. only 10 months after the show had come to an end, he'd announced that he'd lost over 300 pounds. Nice. We're under 400 now. We're 398 pounds. It's still a lot, but like, I did a 5K, another one. With this new weight helping him to land his first job in over 10 years. Wow. We have a job now. We are essential. We are employed. We now work for the great company of Home Depot. By the end of 2020, nice. Casey was wearing a double XL t shirt as he was now under 300 pounds. We got on the scale a couple of days ago. It's, oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy, bro. Look, look at his face here. 219. To let me get a good shot. Look at this, bro. Like, man. Crazy. Ago, it said 290. That's the lowest we've ever seen. Which, in combination with a front page Reddit post, wow. gave Casey the motivation to get even lower. Somehow, I made it to 262. I literally <laughs> weigh less than a third of what I weighed at one point. However, was Casey 262? His goal was 250. Wow, bro. Good for fucking him, bro. Good for him. See, things like this should motivate everybody. To get themselves right. You don't even have to be as big as they are. Or they were. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself right. Go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? I think. Even if you exit. I think. Alright. For the people who like. Want to do the bare minimum. Ain't really. Fond of the gym. Or think about the gym. Bro. All you need I think was like. 30 to 40 minutes. Of some type of exercise. That's nothing. That is fucking nothing. And then going to the gym, I think if you go at least three times a week, it's like you're ahead of the game compared to those not going. You know what I'm saying? Like this gotta, this has to inspire and motivate millions, bro. It should. Casey's transformation as impressive as Christina Phillips, who holds the current record for the most weight lost as a result of the show. Damn. When Christina first appeared on 600 Pound Life in 2014, she weighed in at 639 pounds and explained 22. that she hadn't left her house in over two years. Doctor now advised wow. her that in order to be approved for surgery, she needed to lose 30 pounds in a month, yet she'd instead gained 17 pounds over this time period, for which she'd have a pretty stupid excuse. Instead of Hoping that you lost 30 pounds, you gained 17 pounds. What happened there? 
Um, I think it's mainly fluid, because I did good once I got back. It's not water. For that, you have to drink at least 300 gallons of water. As a result of the Sheesh. game, Christina was put in hospital to be isolated from her family, yet her mother and husband snuck food in for her to eat, leading to a loss of only four pounds in the next month and a pretty dismal outlook on her potential to make a transformation. However, approximately four months after her original visit to Dr. Now, Christina began to commit to the diet before returning to the practice with a whopping loss of 61 pounds, nice. leading to her approval for weight loss. She doubled, yeah, she doubled her approval. It was 30 pounds, right? Surgery. By month seven, Christina had lost an even more impressive 120 pounds, with this milestone giving her the chance to walk again, which was going to help dramatically with any future losses. Nice. By month 11, Christina was down to 470 pounds, at which point she'd be able to go clothes shopping. And by the time Christina hit 390, she was even driving herself to her own Doctor Now appointments. Wow. 390 pounds would mark the end of her wow. appearance on the show. However, it didn't mark the end of her- It was crazy what, how much weight can like change a person bro her weight loss journey. To keep accountable while off camera, Christina created a Facebook page as well as an Instagram, posting photos such as this one only 12 months after her episode had come to an That's end. Wild. Four months later, she'd post another photo showing that she'd gotten down to a crazy 185 pounds or 83 kilos. And while this photo is over eight years old now, Christina has managed to keep the weight off the entire Jeez. time. Yet it was Diana who showed her. that another requirement for long-term weight loss is the acceptance that you are responsible for your own journey. When Exactly. Diana weighed in at 620 pounds during her first appearance in 2017. She was so big that they had to call an ambulance just to get her into a hotel room. A major effect of my weight that I didn't really think about until I was on this road trip Damn. is my inability to get in and out of the van, much less the hotel. Yet she was simultaneously loved by the audience for her unusual level of honesty. She's one of the better people I've seen on this show. She knows her weight caused her serious health problems, and she only blames herself and not others. Diana's Good. positive attitude what helped Takes, man. That's what it takes. You got to take full responsibility and accountability for everything that you do, say, all of that. You know what I'm saying? It's just the right thing to do, bro. Dr. Now's requirements for surgery. My expectation would be in one month, you should be able to lose at least 50 pounds. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Which is followed by a staggering loss in the first month. It lost like uh, 44 pounds. I know, I'm absolutely thrilled. And while this wasn't enough to have her approved for surgery, she'd lose a further 64 pounds in the month that followed, meaning she'd lost 107 pounds wow. or 50 kilograms nice. before she'd even had the gastric Doubled bypass. It. After receiving the surgery, Doubled Diana it. was proud to announce that she was able to get into a car without paramedics. I got here today, not in an ambulance, but for the first time I rode in a van. And after talking to a therapist about why she was overeating in the first place, place, Diana was able to change her habits permanently. After getting under 400 pounds, she'd go to the gym for the first time in 10 years, and by the time the episode had come to an end, Diana was down to 336 pounds. However, this was still only the beginning. Within a year, TLC confirmed on their Damn. Facebook page that Diana had gotten down below 200 pounds, making her unrecognizable in comparison. Oof. Oof. Look at her, bro. Comparison to the start of the show. Wow. However, if we're talking about unrecognizable before and afters, then it's almost impossible That's to insane. go past Justin McSwain. When Justin first appeared on 600 pound life at a weight of 687 pounds, he couldn't even bear to look himself in the mirror, yet he'd also state that the only time he felt relief from the stresses of life was when he was consuming food. So what I do to deal with that and make all that go away is I keep eating. Food keeps yeah. all the pain and misery away, so I never really stop. It's the only way I can deal with it all. His depressing outlook on life led to the choice that he was going to make a change, yet reaching Dr. Now was almost impossible as he couldn't even fit into the car they rented. When they would eventually reach the surgeon, Justin was given two months to achieve a pretty daunting loss. I want to see 100 pounds weight loss in that time. And I wanted to start exercising for at least 30 minutes a day. And while he couldn't quite- 30 minutes a day, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Might lose 100 pounds in two months, he was approved for surgery with a loss of 92 pounds, which was followed by a further mind-blowing loss of 86 pounds while waiting to go under the knife. Yet this was apparently only the beginning, as within only months of the surgery, Justin was down to 395 pounds, earning him a dedicated YouTube upload given Dr. Now's astonishment. That's almost loss of 200 pounds in a year. That's excellent. You're doing great. Justin concluded the episode with 350 pounds of body weight and a tattoo to celebrate the journey, although it might have been this piece of artwork.
Constant reminder, you have one month to lose 30 pounds. <laughs> you have one month to lose 30 pounds. <laughs> oh, that's hard. <coughs> that's fire, bro. Workplace next to his fridge <laughs> that motivated Justin to go even fire. lower. He never gave out any weight numbers on Instagram. Him, However, photos such as this one posted months Yay. after the show went live made it clear that he was keeping up the grind. In January 2021, Damn. Justin... Half, bro. Look at that. He's standing on one of the legs, bro. Showed the world that he this had kept the weight fire, off bro. by placing his entire body in his old pants, with this achievement giving him the chance to meet Diana and Christina, who we covered just prior. However, while it was somewhat nice. obvious that Justin was determined to lose the weight from the get go, the transformation made by Paula Jones was a little more wow. surprising. Paula was the 600 pound life contestant who went semi viral on YouTube for getting fast food after a half hearted gym session. And while this didn't portray her as someone who was going to be successful on the show, this couldn't be further from the truth. When Paula weighed in at 539 pounds during her first appearance, she'd explained that she was entirely reliant on her kids as her husband had died one year prior due to weight-related issues. Fearing that she was headed for a similar future, Paula made the decision to see Dr. Now. However, instead of losing the needed 30 pounds for surgery approval, she'd instead gain 17 pounds, which was followed by nothing but poor excuses. I don't know exactly. I mean, I know my legs are filled up with fluid right now. However, after changing to a liquid diet and accepting the reality of her situation, Paula was able to lose 30 pounds and receive the surgery. Nice. However, even afterwards, her habits were far from ideal. Even after having weight loss surgery, there are still some things that I will indulge in. This in combination with her infamous post-gym McDonald's burrito led to a small loss of only 10 pounds in the month that followed her surgery. You only lost 10 pounds. What are you eating now? Mashed potatoes. There's no protein in mashed potatoes. No, there's not. Your weight loss has not been significant. However, apparently this conversation with Dr. Now wasn't much of a wake-up call as she'd returned to the practice the following month by instead gaining weight. Uh, it's uh, a little bit concerning because she's not losing weight and she's telling me that she's almost eating nothing. Desperate to make a significant loss before the end of the show, Paula decided to meet with a therapist, after which it was obvious that something had shifted in her mindset. I don't think I'll be successful in losing weight if I don't deal with these inner emotions that have been buried. Within th you know, you gotta accept it, man. You gotta take it to the chin multiple times suck it up and keep working gang you gotta own up to all of that you know what i'm saying it's not easy but you gotta accept it. three months paula had gone into overdrive losing an incredible 180 pounds nice. while stating i gotta say that right now my focus is probably better than it's ever been and it's safe to say that this motivation continued long after the episode had come to an end when paula created an instagram account two years jeez bro look at her after her appearance, she began to use the hashtag my 200 pound life on photos such as this one, explaining that she'd lost two thirds of her body weight. Paula's progress gave her the chance to return to the show wow. in a where are they now segment, during which she explained that she now weighed less than her daughter and her habits had stuck permanently. Damn. That's crazy, bro. This is so fire, man. Just seeing people do better for themselves, you know what I'm saying? And if this don't motivate you, you know what I'm saying? If you're in similar shoes as them, you feel me? And this don't inspire you or push you or motivate you to go get right. I don't know what will, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nothing will. Sorry, not sorry, but nothing will, man. You got people pretty much dealing with something that you are. And if you don't see them making that dramatic change in their lives to get better and that don't motivate you or push you, I don't know what will, bro. I don't know what will, man. Honestly, see these people decided to turn around their lives for the better is so inspiring. It's not just about looks, but more about health. And they have increased their lifespan and quality of life 100%. The determination required for these transformations is just insane. I'm extremely impressed with everyone in the video who was able to pull it off. It's not easy, bro. It's not easy, man. But you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do something. The transition to each different story are always perfect. Amazing writing, man. Yeah, this is this is very motivating and inspiring, bro, for sure. Very motivating and inspiring. Hey, get y'all right, man. Simple as that. Let me know what you guys thought. That's my reaction. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe if you haven't. I'm out.